Angela Price from Eden Condensed Small Space Garden Design, and this is Garden Space. So have you ever had an indoor herb garden and suddenly you've got all these nasty little gnats all over the place flying around your herbs, especially when you've got some really beautiful basil growing in your kitchen window and every time you go to reach for it, you get little gnats everywhere and they're landing on everything. Well, the biggest problem with having gnats is probably because you're overwatering your, uh, your basil or your herbs, whatever the gnats happen to be in. The easiest thing to get rid of the gnats is to take your plants and put them outside. Um, let them dry out for a couple of days. Um, if it's hot outside or super sunny, put them in an area uh, part of part sun, so that way, since they're not going to be watered, um, they, won't, uh, they won't die on you on top of getting rid of the gnats. But getting the soil dried out is your first step. What happens is, is that when the plant is overwatered, the lower leaves start to decompose and it also attracts gnats and there might be mold or mildew in the soil itself. And then you can bring them back in. If that doesn't seem to help, the other thing I would recommend is to actually um, repot the basil and change out your potting soil inside and that should take care of the gnats uh, inside. But remember, don't overwater your indoor plants. That's uh, the number one way that people end up killing their plants is by overwatering them. If you're not sure whether you should water, just take your finger, stick it in about an inch, and if it feels moist, like this one feels moist, leave it alone. Even if it's been a couple of days, um, but if it feels dry and, and kind of dusty, then go ahead and water it. Make sure you have good drainage and that the plant itself is not sitting in a, a dish or a plate full of water because that will also attract um, mold, mildew, and other insects to uh, the, your indoor plant. So if the water drains through into a drainage thing, then dump that water out as well and keep that dry. I also like to add some horticultural charcoal or pebbles to the bottom of my plants so that way it will keep the, the dirt off of the, the bottom and it won't be sitting in water. So I hope that gives you some good tips on how to get rid of those nasty gnats. If you have any other questions, please contact me at www.edencondense.com. Thank you very much.